Now, I need to do the tailpiece, but I don't want to smell store gases, so I'm going to put in a uh, blocker there just so I don't have to worry about that. This sink is backing up, so I still probably am going to have a problem anyways, even though uh, I was able to take out a section of the plug here. It looks like I'm going to still have a problem, but I'm going to have to button this all up together no matter what, so I shall start doing that. I'm going to remove the old basket strainer here. this uh, nut right here with my channel locks in, in an effort to uh, bring that in tight. Um, I can also um, see if I can put a little bit of plumber's putty in, in this ring right here to seal that down. So uh, for now, I'm just going to bring this up. Okay, I'm going to bring that back. Bring that down. as tight as I can. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of plumber's putty, which is right here. And I'll just get um, enough of this to make it like some spaghetti string there. Kind of like that. And then a little bit of that's going to ooze out, which is perfectly fine. I'll just clean that up as I as I do it. And I'm just going to put that around like so. And now when I do it, I want the word mowing to be facing me. I'm just going to push that in. Now, as I do that, I'm going to tighten up on the back side here, creating that seal. Move it with my hand. 
still turning. So maybe go ahead and turn that a little more. All right. Right there is good. Now, now I'm going to put on this. Uh, well, actually, it comes with a tailpiece extension here, but I am not convinced that I need that. If I need that, I'll put that on. Uh, we have a brand new plastic trap here. here that will go on the top with this compression ring if that makes up. I still may need that tail extension. I just want to see how this looks. Now going on the other side, that's an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do is take this, put it back here, put this inch and a half compression. Of course you taper it towards the uh, pipe that you're screwing into. You don't put it in this way, it goes in this way. And I'm just going to put that on. All right. All right, so that's ready to go there. And let's just see what that looks like. OK, so that's going to bring, bring my job way, 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 way down. Let me just push that through. OK, so obviously I will need that tail extension. It looks like it's going to be perfect with that uh, tail extension. So I'm going to put that on. And just to make sure that this threaded uh, fitting here is uh, tight fitting, I'm just going to go ahead and put some uh, Teflon paste uh, just to make sure that that's a leak tight joint. So I'm going to go ahead and put some paste on here. And, and I'll clean this up after I screw it in. Just trying to get that. It's a little dry. That's why it's a little difficult for me to work. But I'll uh, still be able to get that in. I'm just trying to fatten up those threads. There we go. And then I'll just wipe that down with a towel after I get it in. And when I screw this in, I'm also going to hold with my needle nose pliers because I don't want to disturb my basket at all. Even though it was pretty tight, I still don't want to take any chances there. Okay. That's pretty tight. Now, I can just take this just to clean that off. So that that's nice and clean. Now that gives me a nice tail piece to attach to. Okay. Now we're going to now, that's inch and a quarter, so I'm going to use the inch and a quarter. So first you put this on, put your inch and a quarter on, which is going towards the part that you're threading into. You can loosen that up. All right, so you're going to go simultaneously here. Now, uh, actually, hang on a second, might I have a problem with this? Uh, I'm going to have a problem here. The pipe that I put in is too long. So this isn't going to isn't going to work. I'm going to have to take out this back pipe here and put in a shorter piece because it is too long. And it's not going to allow me to get the correct transition here. See, it's not lining up 
So since it doesn't line up, uh, it's possible that what I'm not going to do, hang on. Now, the best bet is going to be to remove that and then just put a shorter one in there. Right now, this is actually hitting this. It doesn't even want to come out at all. It's hitting the part that I put in, so it's possibly going to damage that. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that in, and I'll take out the whole piece as one unit. Now, if you remember correctly, I just put that in with my channel locks. It should actually unscrew pretty easily just with this wrench. And it is. And I'm going to change that out for something smaller. I should hopefully be able to take out this whole thing without removing that. That's what I'm hoping right now. And I was. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to, I'm going to put a shorter piece in here and then I'll also have to shorten this up too. That's not, that'll be the easy part. That's just with the hacksaw. But I'm going to have to change out this pipe, which I did not bring. Uh, this was the shortest section, so I have to go get another one. All right, so I took out the six inch pipe. I'm going to put in a four inch pipe, making it two inches shorter. I uh, cleaned, I just took it out, cleaned up the threads with a, uh, with a wire brush, and that is just going to go back into inventory, and that was just a little bit of loss of time. Again, we are going to uh, do the same job that we did last time. We are going to put on some paste and then some Teflon tape. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some paste on here. And I, that's because I don't want that interior joint to leak. So I'm going to repeat that process, making that joint sound. And there's that. flat and that you put it on the correct way so when you tighten it, it tightens not unravels. And the way I do that is just by holding this piece facing towards my right and raveling it around this way. And that way I know I'm doing it the right way. And I do it the same way every time. So that way I'm breaking it this way towards me and then as I screw it, it tightens in. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Completely broke. 
end there is not highly critical to me. I just want to clean those burrs off. I guess I was going with a little bit too much force. I'll go ahead and clean that up. I don't, want any, I don't want the debris traveling down the drain to snag on this, so I'm going to wipe those birds off. Try to make that smooth. Okay. Let's see if that will work. Okay, that's good. Now, with the tailpiece in place, this J bend comes in and out, no problem. Let's see if my clearance is okay. See that? It's okay. This has to come all the way out to right to here for it to be just right. Okay, so that's going to come out to about yay to be good. Now, let's just see how much of the J-Bend is still in there. I still have that much from here to here still on the wall. So this is perfectly acceptable. This is going to be the best way for me to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put all these joints together. And I should have a sink. And then depending upon whether I clear the sink drain or not, will determine how things look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in hand tight, making sure that nothing is cross-threaded. This is just plastic after all. So I just go in loose and then, I, and then I, I, uh, I go in snug and then I loosen it up. This should be centered right in that pipe, bring that down. Okay, and now that's all lined up beautifully. And I'm going to tighten that down, hand tight, no wrenches, because these have little knobs on them. This is the beautiful part about plastic. Now I still just have to take out my um, plumber's putty. There was a little bit that spilled over on the top here. I'm just going to wipe that up so that that works out good. I'll just throw that in the trash, that plumber's putty. And now we'll see what we got. And we can compare it to this middle sink here. I have no leaks. I do not spot one leak underneath. So from the tailpiece all the way to the wall is looking fabulous. And the sink is actually draining quite, quite nice. 